Okay, do you have any idea how annoying that is? I'm trying to have a nice peaceful breakfast here, read my comic, prepare for the rest of my day, and all I can concentrate on is you gnawing. You ever bothered me before? We've been roommates for six months and you've been bothering me since day one. You know what? That's it. It's out in the open. It's time. It's way overdue, Bob. I can't stand you. I absolutely hate you, and, and I know that you've got six months left on the lease, but you gotta go. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to live with a cannibalistic, undead, flesh-eating zombie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just not natural. I mean, look at this. You're leaving body parts all over the house. You even put them in my bed. <laughs> Do you think I like waking up with someone's brain on the pillow next to me? And look. You put a hand in my pocket. And every time you go out, you're followed home by a lynch mob. Do you know how hard it is to convince a mob not to burn down the house? I mean, it's, it's all about fire with these people. Fire, fire, fire. Burn down the zombie house. Well, I'm no zombie, Bob. You know, they think we're gay. And do you realize how embarrassing it is to try to bring a girl over here and all that we can hear is you cutting up your latest victim in the next room? I mean, how many times do I have to tell you that if you're gonna disembowel somebody, you do it before you come home? How stupid are you? You speak English? Yeah, I speak English. I'm from Idaho. What? I thought you were a zombie. Zombies aren't real. Well, what about the body parts, huh? Plastic, you moron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your parents told me you were slow, but come on, man. Your parents? What's going on here? We let you stay here to try to help you out, to try to get your life on track. And it has been 10 years. They want to sell this house. And they want to use the money to travel. They didn't want to hurt your feelings by kicking you out, so they hired me. But they want me to go? <sighs> At first I was supposed to scare you out. But when you actually thought that I was responding to their roommate ad, I thought, you know what? Even better with this guy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to annoy him so bad that he wants to move out. But you know what? I'm done. I'm through. It's over because you know what? Nothing works with you. I can't believe Okay, first off, I need to know something. I've been speaking in unintelligible grunts and moans for the past six months, and, and you act like you understand every bit of it. I mean, what the hell is that? I just thought you were speaking Spanish or something. Spanish? Speaking Spanish? That sounds nothing like Spanish. And you don't even speak Spanish! Yeah. Who just believes the stuff that you do? I mean, lynch mobs. Lynch mobs in this day and age. <laughs> they were actors. And you actually believed they were going to burn the house down. But you still refused to leave. And I mean, who's going to put up with a roommate that is chopping up bodies next door every night? Well, I try to mind my own business. Bodies, Mike! I'm chopping up bodies in the next room and you're minding your own business. So the bodies weren't even real? No, they were no! They were steaks! And not only that, a little side note there for you, Mikey. The girl has never stepped foot in this house, let alone ever in your room. Yeah. So that's it. We're calling out all the stops. That's the last straw. I mean, your parents, they wanted to kick you out without hurting your feelings, but you gave me no choice. I mean, body parts lying around the house didn't work, and lynch mobs didn't work, and chopping up bodies in the next room didn't work, and molesting you in your sleep didn't work. Over. You know what? It's done. Your parents have given me permission to use the last available option to me. Oh, really? And what is that? They're gonna start charging you rent. And they're cutting off your allowance. And I'm gonna keep on molesting you in your sleep. 
Okay, I'll go.